Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today, and today we're talking about William Green from Richer, Wiser, Happier. He did an interview with Bill Miller, and this interview was amazing. They had a whole conversation about a lot of topics, but in this video, we're going to talk about Alibaba and his thoughts on Alibaba, his thoughts on China's regulation, and what are people missing? Are people missing something that no one else is seeing? And we have to figure this out because we had big investments in China and Alibaba and we want to hear Bill Miller's perspective on this. And remember, Bill Miller is a legendary investor. He's been investing for over 40 years. His claim to fame is actually being the S&P 500 for 15 plus years consecutively. So just knowing that, you already know he's an amazing investor. He has those value investors principles. He invested in Amazon back when everyone was discounting it before the crash and he invested even lower when Amazon was going lower during that crash. So he's a very respected investor and we are going to talk about his thoughts on investing in China, about the regulation and what is happening. But guys, can you please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to go over everything he said in this whole video this whole interview because there's so much good gems in it so but first we're going to start with his thoughts on china what's happening in china the regulation going on and everything that's happening down there so as you know alibaba crashed over 40 to 50 percent from last year so we see what's happening with alibaba and all these chinese companies but when we get down to it, we have to understand what is happening in China from anti-monopoly to regulations. We see the Evergrande situation just happening right now. We see Mitowan just had a huge fine on it. We see just everything happening in the landscape of China right now. We see like the energy crisis. There's so much going on. So we have to try to understand this and we have to try to see what people's views are on what's going on I and mean, you always want to get different perspectives one thing bill miller describes is that we honestly we don't really know what is going to be going on what is really happening in china specifically no if someone says they know they really really don't know so have that thought in mind and you have to understand that perspective and bill miller's thoughts and then when it comes to that we have to analyze what is in the best interest of China? What do you think is the best interest of Xi Jinping's laws? Come into a new thought process when we think about what Xi Jinping wants. So when it comes to Xi Jinping, one clear thing is his interest in calming down rapid capitalism and all the freedoms people have like movie stars, like feminine men, like Jack Ma criticizing regulation. But the key thing is he's talking about common prosperity. When you think about common prosperity, you have to realize that China has lifted a lot of people from poverty to the middle class in the last 20 years. China's been seeing crazy economic growth from the 6 to 13%. And that is just amazing. And that's the goal of Xi Jinping. So under that huge framework and goal of Xi Jinping, and they want to continue that economic growth, and this economic growth has been kind of coming back to like around six, seven percent yearly. So, with that in mind, what do you think is gonna happen to these big companies, these big tech giants like Alibaba, like Tencent? Those companies are thriving and helping people getting lifted out of poverty. And that's Bill Miller's thoughts. Giant companies that have been operating in a very free way, raising capital overseas. They think that they're trying to bring that back in, but they don't want to stop economic growth that goes below 6 to 4% because it was at 13. They are going to clip the wings of some of the big tech companies, but they need economic growth to continue to lift the people out of poverty and maintain the party's legitimacy. At the end of it, he says that if you are buying Alibaba, JD.com, Baidu, he thinks those companies are amazing. They're going to do well. They're going to prosper in the future. If you think those companies are amazing right now and they're getting cheaper and cheaper as you see them getting cheaper in the market, 
those companies are helping to the goal of Xi Jinping's common prosperity. They're giving more jobs. Alibaba said that it must get a hundred million jobs or people in the market. So just think about that. Think about how big that is. So all that is just going to help the economy because they don't want a big disparity between the very poor and the very rich with all these tech giants because some people in China are still living on like 150 a month, 200 a month. Like that's crazy when you think about it. But that's how some people are living in China right now. And the goal is to get those people up to the middle class to get the whole country thriving. Bill Miller says those companies are basically the national champions and they want those companies to be seen everywhere. He, they're not going to try to kill the company. They're not going to try to like make sure everything just goes wrong with these companies because they have a common goal in China. But still, you have to watch out for risk, right? So if you still believe that the VI risk is too strong, you're not going to get the profits of the company because you don't know, you don't know if you own it, etc., if there's a delisting risk in New York or a delisting risk in Hong Kong, you're afraid of that. You're afraid of all the donations that China said, even though those donations are not really donations. Those are just to help Alibaba's business. If you actually read what they said about the donations, about helping small businesses, about helping uh, Alibaba, about growing the economy, it's just helping the business and the economy slash people. So if you think about those risks, yeah, you avoid this company, you avoid these companies. But he says that Alibaba's potential basically is like really, really high, but all you have is going to zero. So maintain your risk, understand the potential for both outcomes, but the outcome of this position becoming very strong is very high, but then your position can only go to zero. So just weigh those risks and invest how you see fit. So, so that's it for the video, guys. That was Bill Miller's perspective. That's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, man. I get back to you in the next video. Peace.